Hey, hippies, it's me, Amy, with a, another gaming diary, where I just talk the talk. I try to get used to talking and just, you know, get more comfortable with it. I usually don't edit these, so that way it just comes out. I did take notes this time, because I said in my last one, I didn't take notes because I was all over the place. So I made some notes for some stuff I want to talk about. And I still may be a little all over the place, because there's a few things I might go over. But, eh. I do these, you know, because I'd kind of like to get into, like, podcasts and stuff like that and do a little of that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I don't have the tools and the equipment to do that right now, so I'm using the tools and stuff that I have to be able to do this. And hopefully people are somewhat entertained. I don't know. I mean, it's just the guy talking, so, yeah. Uh, in Destiny right now, we have the Halloween event, which what you see here is me doing the Thriller dance. You can buy this dance from the trading thing they've added with the microtransactions. But there's also other stuff where you can get you get candy and you use the candy to help you get rare masks. And you use the rare masks to try to get legendary masks. And that's what the event's really all about is collecting legendary masks and there's a group of quests you get and stuff and it's all pretty fun like there's a crucible only one where you have to uh, kill people using an engram mask on and it's freaking hilarious going to crucible and you see all these people wearing these engram headpieces it's great and then another part of that same quest is you got to wear a crow to helmet during crucible and kill up to five uh, enemies with the sword. It's it's just silly. It's fun. There's a few of these. There's an homage to Atheon being pushed off the edge. In one of the quests, you got to wear an Atheon mask and then trip off the tower, as they say it in the quest. So good job, Bungie, on you know having a sense of humor with that. Uh. Pretty much, you know that that's it on the uh, on the event going on. It, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. They decorated the tower. The tower looks cool, and, and you will go around the tower and see some of the NPCs, and they have masks on. Uh, like you go to Kite Six, if you gotta go to Kite Six, if you if especially if you're familiar with the story in the Taken King, it's it's hilarious what mask he's wearing. Um, I did get. Halo 5, but I haven't played it yet. I still got a lot to do on Destiny, so that's kind of what I'm concentrating on. And I also got the Elite Controller, which if you guys don't know about it, that's the $150 controller for the Xbox One. That is very customizable. It has an app on the Xbox One, and it's pretty fabulous. Uh, I can't say if I would recommend the controller yet, because I'm still getting used to it. It's Playing Destiny with it is almost like I'm playing Destiny for the first time and trying to learn the controls all over again. It's a little strange, and I'm trying to get out of my old habits because the way it's designed, I don't need to use the A, X, Y, B buttons. And I'm trying to learn not to use those. And then the way I hold the controller is a little awkward, too. I also have the longer thumbstick. But... The app on the Xbox One, you have so many options to help customize it for your preference for the games you play. I mean, there's even a customization to how dim the light is on the controller to show when it's on. And it, it, just little things like that. You, you can change the trigger sensitivity. It has actually trigger stops on it. Oh man, I mean, I, I can't say enough about the controller. I mean, I, you know, hopefully it works out for me great over time. But only time will tell. I mean, I, I just, like I said, I'm just having problems trying to learn to play with it. You know, even with a game I'm very familiar with. You can even have where the uh, thumbstick customization 
makes it for easier churning and better precision. I mean, you'd have to see it to understand it. I'm pretty sure other controllers have customization like that that are out there that you set up on your PC, but I've never used those. But anyways, I'm running out of time, so peace, hippies.